Hey, good people. It's Danny Rukin, live with Jane Unchained, and we're out here in downtown Portland, Oregon, and this is the Cube of Truth, the voice for the voiceless. And what it is is we're in a very, very, very busy part of Portland, Oregon. This is downtown, and if you can see, a lot of people come by this way. And what we do is we have people, yeah, have a look. We have people ta um, showing here. Let me, um, I'm going to turn it. Um, so the, anyways, okay, let me turn it. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay. So what we have here is volunteers who are being a voice for the voiceless. And this is all footage that shows actual factory farming. And what we're doing is, is people are coming here to shop and spend their Saturday. And what actually happens is lots and lots and lots of people stop and to see what happens. And we have conversations with them. And I was hoping when we go live that that would be happening, but uh, we'll just, uh, we'll see how it goes. And maybe in the meantime, maybe in the meantime what we could do is, oh my God, <laughs> there's our mascot. That's Rocco, guys. How's it going, Zach? Good. Yeah, and you just you and Rocco just met, right? Yeah, we're best friends now. You're BFFs, right? For life. And you know what I was what we tell people is that if, can you imagine having Rocco out here is actually good PR. Because can you imagine, you know, when we accidentally step on their paw or something and how they scream and how much it hurts? And just imagine what's going on for these animals that are here and suffering and, and beyond just stepping on their on their hooks or their paws. And as you can see right here, there's a, um, this is a Cube of Truth card, because if they go to cubeoftruth.org.com, there's a 22-day vegan challenge. And um, let's see, so, you know, Zach, you, you run the Portland chapter here, you and Iman, right? Yeah, come on, come and, over uh, here. Iman, come on over. And can you guys just say, um, what it, you know, say a bit about, um, there you go, hey Iman, I say a bit about, you know, why you're out here and what the Cube of Truth is. So we're out here to show people um, footage of animal agriculture because 99% of meat comes from a factory farm. 99% of, yeah. our, of our meat comes from factory farming because when people say, oh, humane and, you know, local grass-fed, it's, it's not true. And we're, we have a population explosion, so there's only going to be less and less land to do that. And, as we know, there's no such thing as humane slaughter, even on uh, local farms. Go ahead, yeah. I don't think Rocco would want to be humanely Say it slaughtered. Say it a little bit loud. I don't think little Rocco here would want to be humanely slaughtered. That's a good point, Zach. <laughs> that, it, right, if, you, if Rocco was humanely uh, raised, so to speak, confined, and then, <laughs> then somebody drags him, you know, by the neck and says, okay, now it's your time, there's nothing humane about that. And also a lot of... Um, a lot of the, quote, humanely raised animals are actually then sent to slaughterhouses. It's, it's very rare that they actually kill them right there. And even when they do, it's terrific. Anyway, go ahead. What else? Well, this is just a really effective form of activism because when people see what's happening to these animals, you know, it's hard for them to deny it or to argue against it. And so a lot right. of people are upset, and we just want them to know that there's resources that they have all the power to change this, and we want to be there for them to help them make the switch. Honestly. Right on. Hey, Mark, I see you say hi from Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix. Yeah. Honestly, though, this form of activism that we do here every week, it's uh, it's very uh, effective. Even if you're a cuber, if you're just standing inside the cube with a mask on, you actually start to witness this, what we call the vegan spark. It's that moment when they realize they should be vegan. They should try out veganism. They should, you know, take on a challenge. And if you're on outreach, if you get brave enough to go on outreach, you help guide people into it a little bit easier. We're not, you know, out here attacking people. We're just allowing them to make a decision on their own. Yes. And to make that educational jump in their minds. Yes. So I think what Zach is saying is that they they see these masks, and then they see the footage when they're walking by. And even if they don't like stop for too long, they do see it. See, there's the glance. See, they do see it, and the seed has been planted. And then um, we have other people who they may not, they, you know, they, Iman, I'm just actually right there. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's people who are, uh, sorry about that, people who are, um, you know, taking footage and then they'll probably show it on their Facebook. And the whole idea is to just get the word out. Now we have, we have a new, uh, <laughs> a new convert who's watching. So, he's showing him the footage, him or her, such a guy. Uh, and as you can hear, it's, um, 
And this is, you know, you might be able to see it, but we can hear it. Those are, those are baby chicks being mastered. Male baby chicks are useless, completely useless in the egg industry. So what happens is, is that over 250 million male baby chicks a year in the United States alone are literally sent to their demise, just like this. And especially now that we have Easter happening, it's particularly uh, horrific. And again, we have people walking, watching, and going by. So we just want to bring awareness. And also, let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can show. We had a lot of people here watching, but they're not here now. And I would talk to the horse guy, but it would be hard to talk to him right now. So let me just turn this around for a minute. And okay, hey guys. Uh, so my button, if you can see it, is right here, and it says, Factory Farming is Animal Abuse, and that's the message that we're trying to leave. I was talking not too long ago with a guy who stopped and listened. He was an older guy, and he said, yeah, I have health issues, and I am interested in this, and we just had that real conversation where, you know, when you stop and think, you know, where does our meat come from? Where... We're, you know, the animals don't just fall from the sky and happy animal place and then drop into the grocery store. They, they come from, uh, they're forcefully bred and they're forcefully impregnated, artificially inseminated. Their bodies are not theirs. They're enslaved against their will, obviously. If you, if uh, they're enslaved, they're mutilated and they're violently killed in order for us to have meat and fish and chicken and things that we don't not, not only don't even need but aren't good for us it's been proven science has been proven there's research studies google it yourself that have already come out world health institute has said that processed meat is carcinogenic and they recommend a plant-based vegan diet it's happening people and uh, you know the veganism and animal rights is the fastest growing movement of modern time and it's, it's the time right now is, is now to be, um, uh, to be on it now. You know what, I would, would, can I just ask you a question? Can I just, oh, oh hi. Hi there. Hi. Um, what's your name? I'm Haley. Haley? Yeah. And uh, have you been out here before? No, this is actually my first event. Okay, so you're yeah. one of our helpers, and because that's a vegan, that's a PETA vegan starter kit. People can get those free anywhere. And um, so can you say a little bit about, are, are you vegan? Yeah, I went vegan. Um, about a month and a half ago. Really? Yeah. A month and a yeah, half so ago. New to vegan. You're out here already. Mm -hmm. Right on. Yeah. And why'd you go vegan? Um, originally, it was for health reasons. I know a lot of people do that. But then I started looking more into it and learning about how animals are actually treated and how the world's affected, how humans, you know, their bodies are basically it's food poisoning for their bodies. Yeah. So that's, you know, it started off with health reasons and then just started learning more and more. And, and what did you learn that made you uh, even more? Uh, convicted to your to your to the principle of yeah being vegan. um well so i own a dog you uh, own a dog yeah so i've always been an animal lover and never really connected meat being an actual pig and how it's treated so really for me it was being an animal lover and to be a true animal lover you can't eat animals right so <laughs> that's a really so good point. that that really sparked it for me and i actually started watching a lot of people on youtube doing these type of events in england and um, they really got me going on it. Wow, sure. that's, yes, the, the, the Cube of Truth and the Voice for the, anim mm -hmm. for the Anonymous yeah. is, uh, is, is international. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so glad. Thank you for taking a stand and, and yeah, being out like, here. Cool. And uh, I look forward to getting to know you more, Haley. Thank you. Haley? Me too. Yeah, Haley. Right on. Thanks. Right on. Okay, so um, let's see Haley do her magic. She's just going to do some outreach, and let's just see if you can catch. There's a guy. He's up and he's grabbing his car. He's grabbing his car. My girlfriend. And he says it's all of friends vegan. So it starts like that, you know? He, those cards actually are giving people the opportunity to take the 22-day vegan challenge. And um, so when people grab those cards, that's a good sign. And uh, let's see. So what else? Let's see Let's see if you can get some more people just like to, to have a look. And, oh, yeah, then there's a, everybody's got to get the photo out with Rocco, of course. That's awesome. Okay, so here it is. Asking them to just take a look, and they are. So what they're watching is is um, is horrific. They're watching footage that undercover agents I am on the process have taken from factory farms of pigs and chickens and cows and all 
the animals, yeah. how they're treated. So, and you, as you, if you can hear, see, one of the hard things about being an activist, as far as we have to listen to this, this is the pigs, they scream actually like humans. They actually, yeah, this is them. And, and as activists, we have to be out here and listen to this. And the reason, we don't have to be, but we're choosing to be because, because if not us, who? The whole point is that we need to be a voice for them. And so if this if this bothers you, then consider consider helping other people go vegan and going plant-based and reducing your intake and letting go of eating animals, especially if you're animal lovers. So there's more people looking. And so we'll just say over now and let's end with Rocco. Let's end on a positive note. This is an animal. He see he could be he could be a pig or a cow or a chicken or anything, and he just happens to be lucky enough to be uh, to be my baby. <laughs> um, but you know our dogs, uh, they're the same thing. You know other animals have have snouts. They have you know hooves, feathers, fur, paws. You know all the different things. There he is yawning, and you know he just yawned. He's yawned several times during this. Have you ever seen a, a factory farm animal yawn? Yawning, I have it, and I think the reason I have it when I've watched all that footage is yawning is a sign of usually of relaxation and chill and safety, and so just consider that um, you know that, that, that there's just a difference, right? Would you say so? I think so. Right on. And let's see if we can um, before we before we say goodbye. Yeah, cool. So awesome. Yeah, uh, good cause. Yeah, you guys definitely. are doing good. Um, Any words you want to say about what you know? We're on we're on a, a live stream, but just what you've experienced just now in the conversation. She she asked you to just stop and take a look. And I don't know, man. I just <laughs> I saw these animals. I just recently went vegetarian over last summer. Yes. And now I'm in the process of going vegan, and so this is some good good references. Um, right on. This is what a good spectacle. There? Oh, just the. Great, great, the PETA starter kit. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I'm a canvasser myself, so I'm impressed with this little <laughs> spectacle you've got here. Yes, yeah, so you're an activist. I am. For so other social justice issues? Yeah, I with, I'm with Greenpeace. Oh, right on. And so, and it's interesting because, oh, you've got more I'm friends. I'm vegan. Oh, you're oh, vegan. Yes, I know. I was here earlier and I'm walking back. And Look I, at how happy Lady and she is. Hello. <laughs> Can you say why you're vegan? Um, I think just, We're gonna so like, I think I'm an Thanks, equal guys. person, and so I'm going to, I like consider myself to be one that like values equality for humans, so why shouldn't I value it for like animals as well? Uh, so it's all the same thing, we're all the same. We all love, we all feel joy, yes, exactly. and, and fear, and pain, and suffering, and happiness, and, and we all have families. Yes, just because we're, just because we can't explain that to people, like right. just because animals can't show that doesn't mean it's not there. Right, that's really well said. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And come and join us sometime to Maybe, spread the Maybe, yeah, I got message. a little, like, thing from them earlier, so. Oh, right we'll on. See. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we'll see you, because we're here every Saturday. Oh, sweet, yay. Awesome, thanks Bye. a lot. All right, so, as you can see, we'll just go over now, but what will happen as we, as we say goodbye, as we wrap, more and more people will be stopping by, and we'll just ask them to uh, observe and witness. So there it is. You guys are witnessing it, so are they. Okay, guys, this is uh, live from uh, Jane Unchained in downtown Portland, and you even got a streetcar ringing there. And uh, if you're not already vegan, go vegan. There's just there's lots of ways to do it. Ring me up, and I'll support you. Over and out.